this almost ready to come out. right now adding more oil yes or different wash kind of oil. A different kind of oil <laughs> you wash it for a little it always wants time. something bro she's so needy <laughs> it's worse than the beamer man yeah. except the beamer's worth every penny this thing yeah. kind of... it's whatever huh? yeah. yeah it's cool though she the daily is she supposed to be no shit you already spilled it waste what a waste of, of washing fluid Again. <laughs> again and again. <laughs> Look, this this thing is holding up. Seems like it. The zip tie. Zip tie does the trick all the time. Oh, yeah. Have you guys ever seen someone pouring washer fluid like that? Because the angle it goes down. Yeah. <laughs> I gotta do it like this rest just splashing out Yeah, of it. giving you excuses over there. I gotta do it like this. <laughs> One hour later. Hey guys, welcome back to Vito's Garage. Today we have a really big project going on. It's gonna be uh, swapping the engine on the BMW, uh, and we already have a spare engine, um, and the engine was already removed from the BMW. And there she is. Show you the engine is out. Gotta lift the hood off because it's disconnected, but 
As you can see, there's nothing here. So we're gonna be putting another engine in it, which is in the garage now, but before we put it in, we have to change all the gaskets. We're gonna change the head gasket and you know, put new timing chains in and all that stuff, tensioner. So here's the engines. This is the old engine. And you see the, the big issue right there. Let's see what happened. Let me grab a light show you later what it looks like on the inside. This is the donor engine, spare engine that came from automatic E34. So we're just gonna need to, we're gonna need to swap the uh, plates, um, the, this flex plate with the flywheel from the manual transmission because as you can see, this is clutch assembly and flywheel we need to go in there. Other than that, everything is pretty similar. Um, and uh, yeah, this engine was power washed thanks to Warren and everything. He did a lot of work actually. Uh, so he did a lot of work. He actually pulled this engine out um, and transmission all together. So uh, right now what we just have to do today is, uh, you know, prepare everything, you know, change the timing chains on this thing uh, and everything else. Uh, make sure it's all good. Uh, maybe paint the engine block. Probably red, right? Red color? Yeah, engine block? Like all right, so. cool. And then um, we're gonna put the engine in, and we'll see how much time we have. Hopefully, maybe we can finish it today. I don't know, but that's gonna be the plan for today. Really busy schedule. A few moments later. All right, so guys, this is the old engine, 3.5, and here's a better look how it looks on the inside. You can still move the crank, yeah, you can still move it. I, yeah. But, look at the cylinder. Well, we'll have to take it apart. Where's the piston though? The piston is like gone. Yeah, you see that thing? That's crazy. You're turning it the wrong way, bro. Oh, there's cut. Yeah, there's no compression. That's why you can spin it easily. There's no compression now. Barely anything. It's crazy. I want to see how those cylinders look like. Me too. It's nuts. All right, so now for the really interesting part, Antonia, tell the viewers what actually happened. You know, like they already told the viewers that, you know, you guys probably saw that uh, E34 that he has. He's actually had it for five years now. And he really loves that car. The car's pretty cool. You know, it's a really old school BMW, 1991. Uh, 5 series with 3.5 liter liter uh, inline 6 like you saw this one right here but you know he he really likes that car you know I was actually working on that car like last year you know we did uh, replace the rocker arm for him and new head gasket and all that stuff but unfortunately he couldn't enjoy it for like too long and then recently what happened is that uh, you know he will tell you what actually happened so go ahead Antonio so, so you were Boy was on the freeway. Um, I actually have a buddy, uh, his name's Leo. Shout out to Leo. Um, he's got the same E34 as me, but a V8. And pretty much we were just going at it, you know what I'm saying? Um, doing a little pull. Um, doing a little pull. And yeah, went to fifth gear. And boom. And the oil light came on, you said, yep, right? Oil light came on. You saw a lot of smoke. A bunch of smoke behind me. Uh, it was kind of like a movie. Yeah. Literally. A and bunch, then you a bunch pulled, of smoke. pulled over, and then you, that's what you saw. You saw yeah. a whole I coolant. Coolant came out. Actually, there's still uh, some coolant right here, left over. Um, and yeah, this looks actually pretty bad. Um, so. The last thing I ever would have thought would have happened. 
It's crazy. But <laughs> lucky is that I actually came back from Washington to Illinois. So right now we're actually uh, we're at Warren's house in Indiana, as you guys know, you probably recognize. So we're gonna be swapping this engine in today. But before we do that, we have a bunch of new parts, new gaskets, and a lot of other things. We're gonna be cleaning Damn. a lot of stuff, uh, as you can see. Here it is. A uh, good used battery, a uh, really big one, pretty much same like on uh, those old school Benzes, 123s and stuff. Uh, you know, head bolts, uh, genuine BMW coolant, oil. This, these are, uh, you know, the, the, this is spray paint for like engine block and all that. Uh, then a bunch of other stuff, as you see right here, thermostats, gaskets, timing chain, rails. Engine mounts. It's crazy, water pump, yeah. Everything. So the car is going to be really refreshing. Add that over there. Is actually um, a new clutch kit, so yeah. Baby's so, gonna feel brand new. It's gonna be brand new, so all right. We're gonna get started on this engine. We're gonna start uh, disassembling this thing, cleaning it. Uh, we're gonna remove the intake manifold, uh, remove this valve cover, and uh, you know we're gonna inspect everything inside. But we need to, we need to pull the head off because since we're doing this big job, we're just gonna replace the head gasket, pour them, and other stuff. So 